Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 22nd to the 28th of May 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Okay, so Libra, 22nd of to the 28th of May 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Libra. Wow. Overall judgment. First, I'm going to say don't let others judge you, don't judge others either. It does work both ways. Keep an open mind where to, um, where you're heading and hopefully leave that past in the past because your past energies is the Three of Swords, Two of Cups, Five of Swords. You've been broken hearted in the past when it came to love due to a third party situation and at times it felt like you were banging your head against a brick wall and not getting anywhere. This is interference, this is meddling, it may be around um, work around home but I feel like this is around love with that two of cups in the past that has caused a broken heart that's why I said wow but Libra present energies ten of wands the high priestess two of wands it's left you with your guard up and not surprisingly so but this is talking about still being observant with what's going on around you ending this burden of feeling like you're doing this on your own I feel like you've left these two back here to it and you have actually come around here to this two of wands where you're now refocusing on what you want who you want and where you want to be heading and how to move forward towards those goals and those dreams keep an open mind these dreams are achievable future energies ace of swords ten of swords eight of swords and it's exactly that finding other ways around things and ending this painful cycle clearing the crap out from the past and focusing on this fresh new start a lot of swords in here a lot of action being taken to heal this past energies and to focus on this new beginning on this new chapter keep an open mind where this new chapter can actually take you now it's almost like the world is your oyster. The big wide world is out there. Um, may have connection to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, around all of these swords. But at the same time, this is about finding that detour and getting this journey on the road, on your road. Wow, very tough underlying reading, Libra, but we will clarify everything. Starting with judgment overall, and I feel this is key, keeping an open mind. As I said, the world is your oyster. Those opportunities are yours to take. Judgments. Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups. And exactly that. Not taking these repeat patterns, the first one that looks good. This is about taking time to heal from what's happened back here in the past and to focus on some sort of new chapter, some sort of new beginning. And I feel like this is actually you taking a whole completely different cup than what you would actually even have looked at previously that gets this whole journey on the road so love that for clarification right there new beginning new option new opportunity but making sure you do take time for yourself to heal as well so let's deal with this past three of swords eight of cups two of wands the hermit and it's exactly the emotional detachment we're talking about ouch hit my shoulder um when we're talking about now refocusing on where you're heading that two of wands is down here so being able to emotionally detach from this past easier said than done but doing some soul searching doing some contemplation and seeing light at the end of the tunnel of where you're heading to now and it did not involve these two back here wow they have connection to a Virgo so we come to this two of cups eight 
Eight of Pentacles, Princess of Swords, the Emperor. May have connection to an Aries here, um, but it's taken a lot of your focus, a lot of your time in dealing with this third party energy, with this interference, with this heartbreak in the past. But I feel like you started to get control of the situation. You knew that there was better things out there. That Princess of Swords, bring it on, taking action and dealing, putting that past to rest and dealing with what comes ahead with this next chapter five of swords and this is a victory in itself being able to walk away from that in the past that is your victory absolutely eight of wands justice the star and exactly good karma sweet justice comes around right there and I feel like things may have gone pear-shaped for this, these other two back here that I'm talking about. And it's like, it's almost like you're, you're sitting down here now. And it's like, well, what did you expect? <laughs> that kind of energy there. But good karma that is coming your way out of this. You've come out of this on top. Able to focus on your dreams, your wishes, your hopes and goals here. What your heart truly desires may have connection to an Aquarius or another Libra but ultimately this eight of wands is about communication and I feel like you actually put these two in their place back there and it may have been quite unexpected to them Wow Libra let's get into those present energies ten of wands that burden is lifted Two of Pentacles, the Fool, the Lovers. I feel like there may actually be somebody new here. Um, usually I do say existing relationship or someone brand new. But from that past, I feel like there's somebody new here. May have connection to a Gemini, soulmate, twin flame. Somebody significant. But you're ready to take a leap of faith here and step back into love, I'm going to say. I feel like you're getting control of the situation where you have been pulled in different directions previously. This is getting that balance and alignment back into place. Releasing this burden. You're not doing this journey on your own. There is somebody significant here, whether you know it yet or not. But you're ready to take this leap of faith as well and go for it. So the High Priestess. Libra. King of Cups, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups. Now a lot of emotional energy is coming into place. Um, and it's like a new love. And the heart gets beating faster. And the butterflies in your tummy are happening and everything like that. May have connection to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're in control of your emotions. That love and emotional happiness is there for the taking. I say take it with both hands and run with it. And celebrate. You may be celebrating a marriage proposal, moving in together, even getting together initially, but there is celebration here that is happening. Love it, Libra. Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Keeping things balanced, equal give and take. Um, I always say if you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. But I feel like this is just confirming that this relationship is a lot more balanced, a lot more equal give and take than obviously what this one was back here. Success is right at your fingertips. And sometimes it is just about finding other ways around things. I always say legally and morally. But you keep moving towards those goals and those dreams because they those are at your fingertips so Libra future energies ace of swords nine of swords three of wands ace of pentacles definitely a successful new chapter here new beginning that is happening there is a bit of stress some sleepless nights here and dealing with clearing the shit out from the past or the crap out I usually say and having this whole fresh new start but your eyes are now wide open to this fresh new beginning this big wide world out there and um, you're able to see very clearly what was going on back there but also now what is to come love it ten of swords libra princess of wands queen of cups ace of cups 
Again, a lot of emotional energy here. You're willing to share your ideas with somebody significant here with this new chapter when it comes to love. Could be a pregnancy, a birth, as I said, marriage proposal, moving in together, even meeting somebody brand new. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally. It's been one hell of a shit journey back here in the past. And now that is lifted, that is done, it's finished with, and you're able to focus on this new beginning. Three aces down here already in your future energies line. And you finish with the eight of swords. Three of Swords, Death, King of Swords. And I'm glad it came out in that order. And this is just saying goodbye to the heartbreak, the third party energy, the interference, the meddling, Death and the Three of Swords. That's done. It's finished with. Okay, it may have connection to a Scorpio. Using your head over your heart, very logical, very level headed and taking action to get this new chapter underway. You are maybe putting that whole book back on the shelf and selecting a whole different book, I usually say. But either way, you are beginning a new new chapter, a new story. And you found other ways around things, legally and morally, and you are taking action to get that on the move. So a bit of a tough reading, Libra, but ultimately you are coming out on top with this. So let's see what the universe says. Nine of Cups, King of Wands, Nine of Swords. We're going to deal with the balance first. We've been talking about equal give and take here, balancing things out. But releasing the sleepless nights, that emotional happiness is yours for the taking. You know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. And this is now about taking the action down here to getting that to be. Love it. So let's finish with Open to Spirit Oracle, Libra. Vision your loved ones restored to health. Love that. May have been a recent passing. Um, somebody close to you you're having to contend with as well erase painful memories of your loved ones as their death approached banish thoughts about how they died who was with them or how much they suffered none of those things matter they hold no grudges and never want you to feel guilty your loved ones are now brimming with vitality and health they are freed from old age emotional trauma illness or injury remember the best of how they lived find some peace in that so yeah maybe that is content contending contending with some of you at the moment as well as what you've had to deal with here but yes so that is what i have though do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye